Welcome, Angle Pairs, Unit 1, How to Speak Geometry. Have your vocabulary sheet open and ready to go. We're going to fill it in. Notice the blue words are the words you're going to type into your sheet. An angle consists of two different rays with the same endpoint. Rays are the sides of the angle, and the endpoint is the vertex of the angle. For your picture, you're going to draw two rays. Notice they have an endpoint and going in one direction forever. Um, they come together at the vertex. That is an angle. A vertex is the common endpoint of the two rays of an angle. So here in the picture, you are going to highlight this point and vertex vertices, a vertex, a single, um, are indicated with a point, just a dot, and we use capital letters. So on my example is P. So the vertex is point P, and I could call this angle P because we often identify our angles by their vertex. Right. Complementary angles. Two angles whose measures have a sum of 90 degrees. The sum of the measures of an angle and its complement is 90. The symbol upside down T here means perpendicular. Also, when you see a box in an angle, that indicates 90 degrees. So you can see the two angles here. This is a non-adjacent pair, but they're two separate angles. They add up 27 plus 63, add up to a 90, and 30 plus 60. This, what we call adjacent pair, also are complementary. C. Hmm. C stands for corner. Corner is uh, 90 degrees. Just helping you out there. You're welcome. All right, let's move on. Supplementary, two angles whose measures have the sum of 180. The sum of the measures of an angle and its supplement is 180 degrees. Likewise, we have a pair of non-adjacent angles, 60 plus 120. Add them together, you get 180. That's supplementary. The bottom, we have a pair of what we call adjacent. They're sitting side by side. 130 plus 50, that is supplementary. They add to 180. Notice, supplementary starts with S. Hmm, straight starts with the letter S. Straight angle is a line, and if I make uh, two angles out of a straight line, they are supplementary. S, supplementary, 180 degrees. Just giving another way to remember the difference between complementary and supplementary. S is later in the alphabet. Bigger uh, number. Number 180 comes after 90. Oh, so many different ways to think of it. So supplementary angles add up to 180. Let's move on. Adjacent angles, two angles that share a common vertex and a side but have no common interior points. So the top, we have an example, and I'm going to highlight here, they have a common vertex, we know that's a point, and a common ray, which is here. Common ray, they share that common side, but no common interior points. So I'm going to just highlight here and here, there are no common interior points. But the bottom, you can see, is a non-example on the left, because while they have the same vertex and no common interior points, they do not share a common side. So there's a gap here. So this is a non-example. Likewise, on the right, not adjacent because they are overlapping. They have common interior points. Angle one shares same in interior points with angle two. So these are non-examples, the bottom ones, non-examples. Right. Linear pair, two adjacent angles whose non-common sides are opposite rays. So you're going to draw yourself a line, and I'm going to put it in here. We have um, 
two adjacent angles whose non-common sides are opposite sides. So opposite rays. Here is a non-common side, and it is an opposite ray here. So we got ray CA and ray CB. They make the opposite rays in a straight line. And we can see our angle one and our angle two, they have a common uh, ray, common vertex, no common interior points. So therefore, this is a linear pair. So we know they're supplementary and adjacent. Maybe you should write that in there. It's supplementary and adjacent. A postulate is a rule that's accepted without proof. It's also called an axiom. So axiom. So our first postulate that we're going to learn is a truth that can't be proven. Two angles form, if two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary. And so here's an example, and you can see angle one and angle two shown in the diagram. That's 180, also two and three equals 180. I'm just going to draw another example in here. You might want to draw that. I'm just going to show um, if two angles form a linear pair. So I'm going to show right here in this picture, I've got two angles forming a linear pair. There's my hypothesis that follows right after the if. If two angles form a linear pair, then what? Here's the conclusion. They're supplementary. So that means my measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two is equal to 180. So that is our first postulate. I'm going to put a little m for measure. Measure of angle two plus the measure of angle one is 180 degrees. So this is a postulate that we know um, if you have a linear pair, then they are supplementary. Add up to 180. All right. Vertical angles are opposite each other like this. Um, they are formed by two intersecting lines. They don't always have to be on top of each other like this. I'm just going to draw quickly. I can draw two intersecting lines. And the top picture that I've already shown are one on top of each other, but I could have had them sideways too. These are vertical angles. All they share is that vertex. They have nothing in common, but it's formed by two intersecting lines. So those are called vertical angles. Vertical angles. All right, so now let's go to our next theorem, a statement that can be proven, and we have vertical angles are congruent. That's our vertical angles theorem. And when we have vertical angles, they are congruent. What does congruent mean? Congruent means exact size and shape. So when they're congruent, we know that they have the same angle measure. So let's say angle A has maybe 50 degrees. Well then, we know the vertical angle theorem says vertical angles are congruent. So what's vertical to angle A? Angle B is, so that is 50 degrees. So vertical angles are congruent. And let's move on to our next angle. Triangle some theorem says the measure of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So when we add our three angles together of any triangle, you always get 180 degrees. Um, if, for example, I know that this is 50 and angle C is, let's say, 30. So we got 50 plus 30 is 80 degrees. So how many more do I need? I'm going to have to have 100 because all three angles must add up to 180 degrees. So that is a triangle sum theorem. All right, let's get ready to show us what you know about um, the angle pairs. Thanks so much. Good luck.